Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be focusing on starting our beet seeds for our spring garden. Now beets are a perfect cool weather crop. They thrive in cooler temperatures and can even take a frost and will survive in near freezing temperatures. Specifically today, we're going to be planting many varieties of beets. Beets come in all sizes and colors. Some are round, some are longer, some are striped, some are white, some are red, some are pink. There are many varieties of beets. Specifically today, we're going to be planting early wonder beets, ruby queen beets, golden Detroit beets, Cylindra formanova beets, colorful beets, which is a variety of colors, and red ace beets. Now to get started, we need to fill our seedling trays with soil. I've already filled some of the trays with soil, I just have one left to do so that I can demonstrate how to fill them. This is a 12 cell tray, and I have four of them here, so we're going to be able to plant plenty of beets. To fill these with soil, we're going to be using a seed starting mix. Seed starting mix is perfect, it's light and it's fluffy, so it's perfect for those little baby seedlings to grow. For planting seeds, you want to work with dampened soil. So I've pre-moistened this soil. If I hold it in my hand, it holds together. It will crumble apart a little bit. It's not dripping with water, but it is nice and moistened and damp. Perfect for starting seeds. You don't want to start your seeds in dry soil. You want to be able to allow your seeds to have the perfect amount of water so that it can take up those nutrients right away when they germinate. I like to compare the texture to crumbly brownie mix. It's the perfect texture. It's the perfect amount of moisture in here. So let's get filling our trays. To fill our tray, we're just going to pour the soil right on top. This could get a little messy, but that's the whole fun of it, right? So I'm just going to fill the tray. And then once we have the soil in our tray filled to the top, we're going to take it and we're going to press it in. You want a really nice dense base for your seeds. You don't want any air pockets. You want the seeds to be able to take up all the nutrients. So once we press in the soil, we're going to fill it to the top again. And there we go, it's full. Let's get to planting our seeds. You can direct sow beet seeds right outside in your garden in early spring as soon as your soil is workable. However, we're gonna be starting our seeds indoors to get a jump on the season. Beets thrive in really nice light soil, so they're perfect for containers. And containers are great if you have a small space or you have no space left in your garden beds. Now your beet seeds will germinate best in soil that's at least 50 degrees Fahrenheit or 10 degrees Celsius. Let's start with our early wonder beets. Now these seeds are a weird shape. They have sides to them. They kind of look like little stars. And we're gonna be planting two seeds per cell and we'll thin them down to just one plant once they germinate and start growing. But planting two seeds in each cell just allows you to make sure that you have a good germination rate and that your seeds will germinate and you're not wasting any space. So we're going to plant this whole tray with these early wonder beets. So we've placed our beets right on top and now I'm just going to take a pencil and lightly push them down into the soil and cover them up. You want to plant your seeds about a quarter inch deep into the soil depending on how big the seed is. Now these seeds are quite small so you don't want to plant them too deep in the soil or else they might not germinate at all. A good rule of thumb for this is to plant your seeds twice as deep as they are wide. These aren't very wide at all, which is why we're not going to worry too much about planting them too deep in the soil. And there we go, our first seeds are planted. Now you must remember to label your seeds so that you don't forget what you've planted. Now, 
Let's move on to our Ruby Queen beads. These are a nice red round bead. Now typically, your seeds will germinate in about five to eight days if the soil temperatures are right. We're gonna plant this whole tray with these Ruby Queen beads. And again, we're just gonna poke them down into the soil. Now, the main reason why I don't direct sow a lot of my seeds outdoors is because the critters tend to steal them. So rather than wasting seeds and wasting time, I just prefer to start majority of my seeds indoors. It also allows you, especially in the spring, to get a jump on that growing season. tag our seeds and they're planted. Moving on to our next variety of beets, we're going to plant our Cylindra Formanova beets. These are a nice dark red, almost purple beet and they're going to be longer as opposed to rounder. We're only going to be planting six of these. Again, two seeds per cell and we're going to use six cells. If you happen to plant or drop a few extra seeds, not to worry, we can always thin them down later. and they're planted. Next up are our golden Detroit beets. These are a beautiful striped beet, a little bit more orange than they are red, still round, and they're a nice large size beet. We're gonna be planting six of these. We've got two more to go. Next up are our colorful beets. These are a variety of different colors, a little bit smaller, some red, some purple, some orange. I love having a variety of different beets and different vegetables in my garden. It makes it so much more fun. poke them down into the soil. And our last beet variety are the red ace beets. These are a beautiful smaller size beet. They're nice and bright red. Beets are so tasty. If you haven't tried beets, I highly recommend them. Thank you. 
And there we have it, our beet seeds are planted. Let's get them under some grow lights. Now to grow these seeds, we're gonna be using a grow light box. You can see here that I have some grow lights on my shelves and I have tons of plants growing on here, mostly herbs and lettuce, and I have some seeds starting down below. It's getting quite full, so I'm running out of space. A grow light box is perfect for adding space. I have a clamp light attached to the lid. This is gonna allow our beets to get nice bright light while they're germinating. All I'm gonna do is pick up each seed tray and place it down into the box. Now I would put the trays that they're sitting on in the box as well, except I won't be able to fit two of them in there. And I want all four seed trays to go into this box. So I'll just use the trays when I'm watering these seedlings. Once you place your seedlings down into the box, you want to just place the lid on. You don't want to close the lid because you want to allow for airflow. So I like to just off center the lid, place it on top so that the light can be there and it'll spread around all your lights. Another trick you can do to make sure that your seedlings are getting enough light is to line your bin with aluminum foil. That just will help reflect the light over the entire space. As I mentioned before, your beet seedlings will take about five to eight days to germinate. However, if you wanna speed up germination just a little bit, you can soak your seeds for about 24 hours and that should allow you to speed up germination by a couple of days. Now when it comes time to watering your seedlings, all you're gonna do is take your little seedlings out of the box and put them back into a bottom tray. This way you can water from the bottom, pouring the water right into the tray and allowing the water to soak up into your seedlings. That just allows your seedlings to soak up the right amount of water as opposed to watering from the top where you might move your seedlings around or spread disease once they start growing. So I highly recommend watering from the bottom. Allow your seeds to soak up water for Allow your seeds to soak up water for about 20 or 30 minutes until the tops of your soil is a dark deep brown. That way you know that there's enough water in your little seedling cells and you can place them back into the grow light box. When it comes to knowing how often and how much light these seedlings need, you want your grow light to be on for about 18 hours a day and off for 6 hours a day. I find that that's the perfect amount of light for your seedlings. And that's it! Our seeds are planted and ready to start germinating. You can see here in my grow light shelf, I have on the top two shelves lettuce and herbs. I'm harvesting from these and have been all winter. And then on the bottom two shelves, I have my seeds started for my spring garden, including tomatoes, peppers, broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower, and more lettuce and herbs on the bottom. Now, my beets are gonna live in the grow light box here on my table. I've already plugged it in and you can see the lights going inside. I'm going to also be lining this bin with foil so that the light reflects just a little bit more and you can see on the top of the bin that I have gaps that'll just allow for airflow. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to this video if you found it helpful and share it with your friends so that they can learn too. I'll see you in the next video. Bye friends!